We are 48 hours removed from a noteworthy bad blood in Boston. What you are seeing here is what took place on the kickoff show. CM Punk ambushed backstage by the Intercontinental Champion Dirty, Dominic Mysterio. CM Punk didn't suffer any serious injuries during this attack, but went on to fight AJ Styles for the WWE Championship nonetheless. As you'll see, the rib cage of CM Punk taped up purely for precaution heading into that battle. But of course, AJ Styles targeting on what could possibly be a serious injury to CM Punk, thanks to the work done by Dirty Dom. At the end of the call, it was AJ Styles retaining his WWE Championship. All roads lead to New Orleans here tonight. AJ and Dom hanging around each other the last week. They're going to be teaming up side by side as they go up against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn live right here tonight in New Orleans, Louisiana on Monday Night Raw. We are live tonight for the Smoothie King Center for the first time since the month of June at King of the Ring. And we are kicking things off with a monumental debut up against a former champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Ever since last month at Queen of the Ring, the wrestling world has been rumbling about the arrival of one of the hottest free agents in the industry today, Jade Cargill. And it was last week that former women's champion Liv Morgan decided to throw out the challenge. Jade, we knew she would be here tonight. Liv Morgan, however, the newest piece to this puzzle. Liv Morgan is looking to get back on track. A former WWE Women's Champion who fell short in the Queen of the Ring tournament steps inside the ring with a woman making her very first appearance here on Monday Night Raw. A bona fide superstar in the making. If you were to build a WWE superstar in a lab, they would look like Jade Cargill. One of the hottest free agents in the pro wrestling industry, signing to the Raw brand last month. And for weeks we have waited in anticipation to get here to Smoothie King Center in the Big Easy, New Orleans, Louisiana, for the arrival of one Jade Cargill. Jade bringing the storm all the way to Monday Night Raw. A sight to behold, but can the hype match the energy inside of the ring? Will Jade Cargill be successful right here, right now in her Monday Night Raw debut? It is not going to be an easy task. Jade is jumping right into the lion's den as she goes one-on-one -on -one with a woman who earlier this year was the WWE Women's Champion in Liv Morgan. Well, right out of a noteworthy bad blood 48 hours ago, we are right back inside the squared circle here on Monday Night Raw. The Road to Survivor Series kick it off right here tonight. Liv Morgan and Jade Cargill opening things up. What a way to kick things off here in the Big Easy. We're all going to be bookended by some high profile action as you saw tonight in your main event. The WWE Champion AJ Styles teams up alongside the Judgment Day's Intercontinental Champion Dirty Dominic Mysterio as they go up against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, two men extremely familiar with the Judgment Day. More on that matchup later tonight as you see Liv Morgan all over Jade in the early moments. Liv the veteran in this equation tonight, more big match experience, absolutely. Jade Cargill with the size, strafe, power, and of course the hype surrounding her tonight. Will that play her dividends? Or will Liv Morgan 
be able to outlast the storm, come out on the other side of the rainbow, and be victorious. All remains to be seen here as Jade Cargill looks to build some momentum for herself in this Monday Night Raw debut. Of course, we are hot off the heels of Bad Blood where Cora Jade by hook or by crook retained her WWE Women's Championship. SmackDown Women's Champion Roxanne Perez really getting in the ear of Cora Jade to say the least and helping her retain her title against Bianca Belair this past Saturday night. We're gonna talk in great discussion about that situation in just a bit here on Raw. As Jay Cargill impresses right now against Liv Morgan, we also look ahead to a first time ever collision going down tonight. It is Queen versus Queen. Only room for one of them here on Raw. The Queen of the Ring, Tiffany Stratton, up against Charlotte Flair for the first time here tonight. Those two women been teasing each other with a couple of stare downs over the last number of weeks, and of course we know but the Queen of the Ring winner, Tiffany Stratton, awaits Cora Jade for the WWE Women's Championship in less than four weeks' time at Survivor Series in Orlando as Jade Cargill is looking hot. Off the German that time, Jade heading to the top, looking to drop the hammer, but Liv Morgan saw it coming. Jade obviously very excited and enthusiastic about her Monday Night Raw debut tonight, but she cannot over get overzealous, we should say. Could not overcommit with some kind of high risk maneuvers or Liv Morgan is gonna bring her right back down to size. Liv has had some trouble getting back to the top of the mountain here on Monday Night Raw over the last few months. Ever since losing the Women's Championship back in the month of May, fell short in a couple of outings. Hell, one of them being right here in the Big Easy back in June to win back that women's title. Of course, Liv Morgan tried to bounce back in the Queen of the Ring tournament. Made it all the way to the semifinals, only to be knocked out by the eventual winner in Tiffany Stratton. Also, just a few weeks ago, on Raw, Liv and Tiffany running things back at the season premiere. Another upset. Tiffany Stratton builds up some great momentum for herself here on Raw, but Liv Morgan just trying to hang in as the Raw women's division continues to get more competitive. Charlotte Flair returning last month. Tiffany Stratton breaking through the glass ceiling. Lyra Valkyrie has been impressing. And now add Jade Cargill to the miss. It is really sink or swim for Liv Morgan. Here tonight in the Big Easy on Raw. But she's hanging in there against Jade. And that's going to be Liv's strong suit in this matchup. Using some speed and agility to her advantage. Nice head scissors takedown. She may have Jane Cargill rocked into the crucifix bomb. Not even getting a one count that time. Got to admire the effort of a former WWE Women's Champion. Liv putting pedal to the metal the last few minutes, but she cannot exhaust herself or Jane Cargill may see a window of opportunity to capitalize. Jade sent right into the corner. Liv Morgan looking to put the nail in the coffin of this matchup. But Jade obviously not looking to come to New Orleans tonight and have an unsuccessful debut here in the WWE. It's one thing to have all the hype, all the pop and circumstances around you. But if you can't get it done in the ring, then none of it matters. Liv Morgan unimpressed by the smoke and mirrors of Jade Cargill. Looking to use the... Spotlight that is on Jade tonight to propel herself back to the promised land here on Monday Night Raw. Certainly a big time matchup kicking things off tonight on Monday Night Raw. I can tell you tensions have been high in the locker room all day long after some of the results of Saturday night in Boston. Of course the Judgment Day's involvement, CM Punk, AJ Styles, that whole situation. Can confirm, we'll talk about a little bit more later tonight that CM Punk is not in the building tonight. Same thing as Saturday, just some precautions with serious injury. We'll talk again about that a little bit more later tonight as Raw rolls on. Nonetheless, Jade Cargill once again surviving a pinfall attempt by Liv. Off the backbreaker, will Jade get her hand raised? Not just yet, Liv Morgan still alive. Jade Cargill impressing, hanging in there with somebody who knows what it's like to hold championship gold here on Monday Night Raw. It's gonna be a huge victory no matter which way this matchup goes. 
Whether it's Jade Cargill being successful in her debut or Liv Morgan getting back on track. Reversal for reversal that time. Liv off the kick to the gut. Could be looking across the finish line first. Little code breaker to Jade. Liv looking for a victory. Not just yet. Jade Cargill surviving one of Liv Morgan's best maneuvers with that code breaker. Liv Morgan had to continue to find a different way to keep down the storm that has arrived on Monday Night Raw. What a boot! My goodness! Liv's gotta be seeing stars. She's gonna need a drink on Bourbon Street when she wakes up from that. Well, Jade Cargill, a sense of urgency, if you will, realizing that Liv Morgan instituted a lot of pain and suffering off that code breaker. Jade need to play catch up. Liv is looking worse for wear right now. Ever since that boot, she might have got rocked. Jade with Liv in the air. Down she goes. Liv Morgan comes to New Orleans only to become jaded. You got a feel for the former WWE Women's Champion who continues to be on rocky ground here on Monday Night Raw. But what an impressive and resilient debut for one Jade Cargill. We are looking at a superstar in the making, a force to be reckoned with. The storm has arrived on Raw. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noination Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. Well, of course, Halloween Havoc Night 2 approaching for No Nation Gaming channel members live this Saturday night. And we can confirm some of the action going down. You just saw her make her debut moments ago in successful action. Jade's going to be back in action live this Saturday in Norfolk at the Scope for Halloween Havoc Night 2. As we talked about, CM Punk not in the build building tonight just for precaution, but he is going to get his hands on the Intercontinental Champion Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Punk. Dom, it is a street fight for No Nation Gaming channel members live this Saturday at Halloween Havoc. And I'll tell you, there's ghosts, there's ghouls, there's goblins, and there's monsters. Halloween's getting real spooky on the 26th. The monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman, set to lock horns with big Bronson Reed. All that action and more going down this Saturday at the Scope in Norfolk. Halloween Havoc Night 2. Be sure to hit the join button down below or link up in the cards and become a Noah Nation Gaming channel member. We are back inside Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, looks to get back on the right track as he runs it back one more time with the big Aussie himself, Brunson Reed. Well, Bronson Reed has been sending waves, or shall we say sending tsunamis throughout the Monday Night Raw locker room. And somebody he's got his eyes on is somebody who has been a topic of discussion already here tonight on Raw. That's the Intercontinental Champion, Dominic Mysterio of the Judgment Day. Not one but two occasions now, Brunson Reed has left Dom looking up at the lights with a tsunami that crushed Dominic Mysterio in half. You gotta believe Reed is eyeing up an opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship 
And although Dirty Dom has got other business to handle tonight, you gotta believe he has got his eyes on the big Aussie himself. Well, Brunson Reed's certainly gonna garner some attention if he can continue to rake up some victories here on Monday Night Raw, but Shinsuke Nakamura's got a score to settle with the big Aussie tonight. It'll be a busy week for Reed, as you just saw. Nakamura tonight, win, lose, or draw. He's got Braun Strowman on Saturday at the Scope in Norfolk, Virginia. But Brunson Reed looking to go into that matchup with some momentum on his side. Nakamura's had a couple of outings with Reed at this point. Go back to several weeks ago with the gauntlet matchup that main evented Raw. Brunson Reed running over Shinsuke Nakamura in the middle of it. Only to be knocked out by Solo Sokoa a few moments later, but Nakamura extremely disappointed in defeat. Wanted to get back inside the ring with Brunson Reed, and he did. It was a victory for Brunson Reed. The celebration was cut short thanks to Dirty Dominic Mysterio, and then a King Shasa in the aisleway by Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura looking to get back on track and get his victories back tonight, and I'm sure Reed has not forgotten about the need of the face that Nakamura instituted several weeks ago. And here they are locking horns again tonight. Nakamura's been struggling to handle this Brunson Reed problem, but maybe tonight is where he flips the switch. On the other hand, we talked about Brunson Reed and possibly eyeing up an opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship. You know, Reed really getting in the line of fire with Dirty Dominic Mysterio, thanks to really unintentionally injuring Solo Sokoa. It wasn't a super serious injury, Solo not needing surgery, but as you can see, has spent the last couple of weeks at home on bed rest. Bit of a freak accident in the midst of that gauntlet match last month, a powerbomb by Brunson Reed, really ruffling some of Solo's feathers, hurting the rib cage a little bit. Solo went into the ring with Braun, or I should say Braun Strowman moments later, Certainly didn't help his cause. Fell short to Dirty Dom one week later at the season premiere of Raw. Dom trying to beat down Solo after the matchup. Brunson Reed made the save. Ever since then, Reed has had his eyes on Dirty Dom and possibly obtaining an opportunity for himself at the Intercontinental Gold. Speaking of a powerbomb by Reed, there's the same one. And it almost puts Nakamura away. Shinste Shinsuke still alive here on Monday Night Raw. Look at Nakamura springing to his feet. Brunson Reed on top. Nakamura using Reed's size and agility against him as he goes flying off the top row. The last time we are in the Smoothie King Center, right here in the Big Easy. Back in the month of June, Brunson Reed defeated Omos at the King of the Ring pay-per-view in a bourbon street fight in this very building. Shinsuke Nakamura, look at this very unique submission hold, looking to make sure Reed is not as successful tonight. Oh, look at that power by Brunson Reed, just getting Nakamura's octopus-like stretch right off of him. Running over Shinsuke with a shoulder block that time, Nakamura in trouble, gets dropped, my goodness! Nakamura's gonna feel that stinger. This one's over with. Big Brunson Reed refuses to be denied. Here is your winner, Brunson Reed. You cannot deny Big Brunson Reed. He's raking up victories. He's garnering attention. And he wants his shot at Dirty Dom and the Inner Continental Championship. A big win for Brunson Reed tonight. As we take a look back at Bad Blood this past Saturday, we discussed it momentarily during your opening matchup. Bianca Belair versus Cora Jade. However, Cora, interestingly enough, accompanied by SmackDown's Women's World Champion, Roxanne Perez. Several a time throughout the matchup, as you saw, Perez putting her hands on Bianca Belair. Is it a disqualification? No, but certainly shouldn't have been allowed. Cora Jade struggling to keep down Bianca and taking a page out of Roxanne's book, exposing the corner, sending Bianca right into the steel, an underhanded tactic. Follow that up with the DDT. Cora Jade using the influence of Roxanne Perez to defeat Bianca Belair and retain her championship. You don't have to like the actions of Cora, and I certainly don't. The confidence was rocked heading into bad blood, and she made up for it with a dirty tactic. But we now look forward to next month in Orlando, 
when Cora Jade will defend her WWE Women's Championship against the Queen of the Ring winner, Tiffany Stratton. These two women have really broken through the glass ceiling on Raw throughout this year. It is only fitting they clash over the richest prize, Cora Stratton, one-on-one -on, -one on the 16th of November. But Tiffany Stratton has got other business to handle here tonight. Because for the first time ever, it's queen versus queen, and it's going down right here in New Orleans, Louisiana. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Queen City. That women's championship matchup approaches next month in the Kia Center, but the Queen Charlotte Flair has been eyeing up this one-on-one -on -one affair with the Queen of the Ring herself. Stratton, of course, earning that title by winning four rounds of the tournament and, of course, earning that championship matchup at Survivor Series next month. But you are looking at the original Queen, somebody who's been there and has done that, stepped away from WWE for over two years only to resurface last month in Madison Square Garden, and clearly the flame has been reignited. Charlotte Flair back here on Monday Night Raw, seeking new competition, seeking new championships, looking to accomplish goals left and right. Tonight, first on the outlet, is taking down Tiffany Stratton, and possibly really garnering herself some momentum in regards to the WWE Women's title. It should be a great contest as Charlotte Flair looks ready for action here on Monday Night Raw. Oh, hang on a second. Wait a minute. Well, hold on. Tiffany Stratton making her way through the WWE Universe, hopping the barricade and jumping Charlotte Flair early. We were getting set for this one-on-one -on -one matchup, but Stratton ambushing Flair when she wasn't expecting it. Stratton electing not even to make her entrance down the aisle, hop through the barricade just to take Flair by surprise, and that was beaten down the Queen at ringside. Well, Charlotte Flair's been in a couple brawls in her day, and if that's what Stratton wants tonight, that's what she's gonna get. I don't believe I've heard a bell. As a matter of fact, I don't know where the referee even went. Charlotte Flair and Tiffany Stratton are going at it at ringside with nobody to separate them and gain control here in New Orleans. Well, Tiffany Stratton igniting a fire in Charlotte Flair. Clearly with this attack, Flair gonna match her energy. Oh, and Stratton sent her right into the barricade. This is not what we expected between these two incredible athletes. I was expecting a wrestling matchup, not a fight to break out. Well, Tiffany Stratton, well, hold on now. She, she entered through the WWE Universe. Now she's leaving through it. Where the hell is she going? Charlotte's back inside the ring. Charlotte Flair's ready for the matchup. Tiffany Stratton is leaving Smoothie King Center. It's as if the number one contender to the women's title cannot be bothered with Charlotte Flair tonight. Is this allowed? Can Stratton just walk out in this matchup? We haven't heard a bell. It hasn't begun. Charlotte's in the ring, and the queen of the ring, Tiffany Stratton, is getting the hell out of here. When the tension rises and the war on the battlefield begins, there is only one thing for these superstars to do. Survive! Coming your way on Saturday night, November 16th, from the Kia Center in Orlando, Florida. Witness the 2024 edition of the Fall Classic as the superstars of Raw and SmackDown, along with No Nation Gaming channel memberships, proudly present Survivor Series! 
Well, survival was certainly the idea for the Harbinger of Doom, Carrying Cross, and Mr. Money in the Bank, Braun Breaker, this past Saturday night when they met in a destructive casket matchup. These two men have been at each other's throats for months on Monday Night Raw, and it was bound to come to a violent ending, beating the hell out of each other in the middle of the TD Garden this past Saturday. As you see, Braun Breaker really doing a number on Cross in the final moments, only to send him inside the casket. Braun Breaker closing the lid, the successor this past Saturday in Boston. Well, two men who cannot be happy about that result are carrying Cross's recent running buddies in Acom and Razor, the AOP. We are set for tag action here on Raw, just as we will be this Wednesday on Velocity as the Creed Brothers take on DIY. That is going down only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. You go ahead and scan the QR code on your screen right now and never miss a second of Velocity each and every Wednesday on TikTok. The authors of Pain set for tag team action tonight. And I am sure looking to bring some good mojo back to the final testament as they're carrying Cross had the lid closed on them this past Saturday. It is going to be a heavyweight battle in tag team action tonight. Ivar stood toe to toe with carrying Cross in singles action two weeks ago. Came up short in the result. But with Eric back by his side, the Viking Raiders run in to Aikman Razor here on Raw. And their opponents at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric the Viking Raiders. Well, Eric's been out for a couple of months dealing with some nagging injuries. We have seen Ivar in singles action here and there, but the former World Tag Team Champions back side by side tonight. And after Ivar's encounter with Kerry and Cross a few weeks ago, he's looking to get back at the final testament by scoring a tag team win over the AOP. A pairing of former tag champs set to collide here on Monday Night Raw. Very interesting outing, if I say so myself. The World Tag Team Championship, of course, currently residing with Damian Priest and Finn Balor, who retained their gold against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Phenomenal bout this past Saturday at Bad Blood. We gotta believe number one contendership a bit wide open right now. And every team in the Monday Night Raw locker room gonna be looking to stake their claim at the front of the line. I'm getting some word in my headset right now that, of course, we saw moments ago Tiffany Stratton ambushing Charlotte Flair and they're seemingly leaving Smoothie King Center. We're getting word that's exactly what happened. Evidently, we had eyes backstage and the Queen of the Ring has left the building, ladies and gentlemen. I guess we will not see Tiffany Stratton versus Charlotte Flair here tonight. We apologize for a bit of false advertisement, but clearly Stratton going into business for herself and taking her fate tonight in her own hands. I guess Stratton more focused on what's to come at Survivor Series, her WWE Championship opportunity, and has no interest in battling Charlotte Flair in a first-time ever matchup. There I say, Tiffany Stratton could have, could have been a little bit nervous about her momentum getting squandered by the veteran in Charlotte. Looking to keep it intact, but don't want to sit here and speculate. Nonetheless, that's one situation. We're here for another as the Viking Raiders in tag team action against the AOP. Four horses inside of that ring. Four heavyweights throwing haymakers. Eric, as we mentioned, dealing with some nagging injuries for the last few months. The Viking Raiders... Spent some time on SmackDown. We're drafted back to Monday Night Raw in the month of April, but really looking to start getting their feet wet here tonight in New Orleans. No easy task ahead. The last time we saw Aikman and Razor, they ran over Braun Breaker in a handicap matchup last month here on Raw. Of course, Braun Breaker putting those issues to bed this past Saturday in Boston. And Aikman and Razor are going to be fired up watching Kerry and Cross get the lid closed on him. They're looking to get their hand raised tonight. Of course, the next factor in the mastermind, Paul Ellering, looming at ringside. Those two men, all the tools to be successes. Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners in 2016. NXT Tag Team Champions a few months later. Former champions here on Raw as well, but Eric and Ivar, no strangers to gold. Look at that tandem offense. 
And now into the cover goes the behemoth known as Ivar. This one's not over yet. Eric and Ivar tag team champions about two years ago here on Monday Night Raw. Looking to get back to the promised land. Maybe tonight is where they start down that path. Razor hanging up Ivar in the corner, at least momentarily. And now brings him right into enemy territory. First of two tag team matches here tonight. This one seemingly polar opposite to what we will see in tonight's main event. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn teaming up alongside, dare I say, some odd bedfellows. And the WWE Champion AJ Styles and the Intercontinental Champion Dirty Dom that is still to come here on Monday Night Raw. Razor off the reversal tag made to Akam. Ivar looking worse for wear after dealing with the clubbing blows that the AOP bring to the squared circle. Akam and Razor have their way. They will cut the ring in half, beat down either member of the Viking Raiders, and coast to victory. And right now, it seems that's exactly what they're looking to do. Ivar is in enemy territory. He's got to dig down deep and try to find the Viking within him to keep on fighting. And possibly get a tag to Eric. That might be the saving grace here on Monday Night Raw. This is not how Ivar wanted to revisit his corner by just being manhandled by Razar. Ivar, no small individual. Razar showing his intestinal fortitude. Look at Ivar here, muscle it up. Razar, and down he goes. That's one way to fight your way out of the corner. This one's not over yet, but great maneuver by one half of the Viking Raiders who follows it up with a leg drop. Some heavy hitters here on Monday Night Raw. Great tag team matchup thus far. Again, another one coming up this Wednesday on Velocity as Brutus and Julius Creed take on Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. Tag made to Eric, the Viking Raiders. Looking for some more tandem offense. Did you see the height that Razor just went? Nothing easy here in the Big Easy for the AOP. A big time victory off a massive maneuver in the closing moments for those Viking Raiders. Eric and Ivar came, New or to, came to New Orleans, excuse me, to start a war tonight, and boy, did they ever. What a victory over Akam and Razor are the authors of pain. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. At the top of the aisle way. That's Bianca Belair. That's the WWE Women's Champion, Cora Jade. Well, things have been respectful between these two competitors leading up to bad blood, but after what we saw and Cora Jade's underhanded tactic this past Saturday, Bianca's had enough of the respect. Bianca's been hell-bent on getting back the women's championship that Cora Jade has found herself in a lucky position of retaining time and time again. It could have been a respectful outing on Saturday night, but Cora Jade's confidence was rocked after Bianca defeated her in non-title action last month here on Raw. Cora called upon Roxanne Perez. Roxanne Perez influencing what we saw in the final moments of that matchup. Cora exposing the buckle, just as Perez did earlier in the night. Bianca bringing this street fight inside the ring. KOD to the women's champion. If Cora Jade thought Bianca was going to take what happened on Saturday lying down, she was greatly mistaken. Clearing the ring simply to send a message. If Cora thought that Bianca was just going to sit idly by, she found a surprise here tonight. And wait a minute. I thought Stratton left the building. Tiffany Stratton ambushing Bianca Belair now. The hell's she doing out here? First she runs away from her matchup with Charlotte Flair. Then this brawl between the champ and Bianca. And now Stratton lays out the EST. It's Tiffany time. I don't got an answer, folks. Chaos surrounding the women's championship. Who wants it more? Stratton leaving Bianca laying. 
Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Yesterday afternoon in Hammerstein Ballroom, the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament concluded. The Scottish Supernova from NXT, Noam Dar, met SmackDown's Cruiserweight Pete Dunne in a grueling back and forth matchup. In the end, it was Pete Dunne who inevitably punched his ticket to the quarter final round. Later on that afternoon, JD McDonough and Tyler Bate met one more time in not only a first round matchup, but an exchange over Tyler Bate's Cruiserweight Championship. The big strong boy walking out the victor. We now look forward to this Saturday, I should say this Sunday afternoon, where the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament kick off. NXT's young OG, Javon Evans, goes one on one with Wesley. And also going down this Sunday at 12 noon Eastern in Midtown Manhattan, Nathan Fraser, who has possibly had the most exciting performance of the CWC yet, goes up against one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Dragon Lee. The CWC continues live this Sunday. We are back inside Smoothie King Center here on Raw. Meet Shin, set for action against Alba Fire of the Unholy Union. Alba Fire getting her hands dirty last week on Raw. We saw Lyra Valkyria, one of Raw's hottest newcomers, up against the nightmare Rhea Ripley. Lyra holding her own against the former women's champion, somebody who has been so dominant here on Raw in Rhea Ripley. Just as Lyra was really starting to build momentum in that matchup, Alba Fire, the unholy union, causing a cue, causing a distraction, taking Lyra's eye off the ball and inevitably helping Rhea Ripley get the victory. Handing Lyra Valkyria her for first loss since joining Monday Night Raw, and a lot of that having to do with who Lyra has beaten since she joined the Red Brand. One of those is Mi Chin. Her Mi Chin was the one who issued the open challenge back at Queen of the Ring in the month of September. It was Lyra Valkyria who accepted, got the victory, and 24 hours later signed to the red brand. But you don't see Mi Chin attacking Lyra or distracting her. She took that loss on the chin, and now it's looking to give Alba Fire that same defeat. Alba, of course, also falling short just as Isla Dawn of the Unholy Union did in one-on-one -on -one action to Lyra Valkyria on Monday Night Raw. And we saw how Alba took it. Trying to get back at Valkyria last Monday night. Well, Alba Fire might have another thing to be upset about if Meechin keeps up red hot in this matchup. With a couple of high offense maneuvers and now a pair of knees. Alba Fire in the ring with Meechin tonight. Singles matchup. We've seen her predominantly in tag team action over the last few months on Raw. But Alba now back in. Oh, wait a minute. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Well, hell, it's all fair, right? Alba Fire distracted Lyra last week. Here's Valkyria giving a taste of her own medicine. Me Chin from behind, rolling up Alba Fire. And got the victory with a little assist. Here is your winner, Me Chin. Well, the Unholy Union should be careful whose business they get involved in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting some huge news regarding next week on Monday Night Raw. We have seen what has developed throughout tonight and, of course, this past Saturday at Bad Blood. Next week, this massive interpromotional six-woman tag team matchup has been signed. Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, and SmackDown's Raquel Rodriguez battle Tiffany Stratton, the women's world champion Roxanne Perez, and the women's champion from Raw, Cora Jade. That is next week on Raw. But we still have a main event to get to right here tonight in Smoothie King Center. 
champions on the same side as AJ Styles and Dirty Dominic Mysterio stand up against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Tag team main event on the horizon up next here on Raw. It is main event time for the Big Easy here on Monday nights. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens fell short to the Judgment Day on Saturday. Can they bounce back here on Raw? The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in. Well, no matter which way you put it, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and the Judgment Day have continued to be thorns in each other's side for months here on Monday Night Raw. Zayn and Kevin Owens were looking to finally stick it to the group of the black and purple on Saturday night as they contested for the World Tag Team Championship. You hate to give the devil their due, but Damian Priest and Finn Balor proving why they have held dominion on the red brand for several months. Successful against their challengers on Saturday, and now Zayn and Kevin Owens find themselves against another pair of champions here on Raw. And after falling short of bad blood, the prize fighter has gotta be in some mood. Owens and Zayn were contesting for tag team titles 48 hours ago, but it was not too long ago they were each holding singles gold here on Raw. Sami Zayn very well still may be. The Intercontinental Champion today had it not been for the Judgment Day aiding Dirty Dom all the way back in July. Even during the reign of WWE Champion for Kevin Owens, he had Priest and especially Finn Balor on his tail on several occasions here on Monday Night Raw. Now Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn once again back in the ring with Dirty Dom, but interestingly enough, it is not Priest or Balor, it is AJ Styles who stands alongside the Intercontinental Champion. A very interesting partnership that has been created before our very eyes over the last seven nights. AJ accompanied Dom here on Raw last week. Dom, intentional or not, certainly aided AJ Styles in retaining his gold this past Saturday. Dominic Mysterio willingly, more than one occasion, has had the blood on his hands. And I think Dom is proud of it. We saw what happened to CM Punk on the kickoff show. No serious injuries, but CM Punk went on to fight AJ Styles later on at Bad Blood in a bad shape. A lot of that having to do with that man, Dirty Dom. But by hook or by crook, AJ Styles got it done fair and square on Saturday night and is still your WWE Champion. And representing the OC from Game 
Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles proving once and for all, at least in his mind, that he is better than the man that calls himself the best in CM Punk. We briefly touched on it throughout the evening, but CM Punk not here tonight. Of course, as we mentioned, the tape was put around his abdominal for precaution on Saturday, and a bit of the same tonight. CM Punk staying home for precaution to avoid getting in any kinds of action. Punk will return to action on Saturday night. Halloween Havoc Night 2 for No Nation Gaming Channel members. Punk's going to have a chance at retribution when he goes mano a mano against Dominic Mysterio in a street fight. We hear tonight Dom alongside AJ Styles, a pair of singles champions here on Raw, come together to take down Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Dom, no stranger to Sami Zayn. They have had several battles throughout 2024, and of course, all the history with the Judgment Day. As for AJ Styles, finding himself in this main event, I'm sure not interested in getting into the line of fire with Zayn and Kevin Owens, but as we saw a few weeks ago, CM Punk aiding Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens in that six-man tag team matchup against the Judgment Day. And it seems as if KO and Sami are looking to do one good by a man who they respect has been earned with in CM Punk. Punk and Owens several battles throughout the summer. It's a great lack of respect between those two individuals. Really took the battles inside of the ring for Kevin Owens and Punk to really get on the same page. And Sami Zayn following suit. Now some common enemies start to pile up for KO, Sammy, and Punk. And although Owens and Zayn unsuccessful in getting the World Tag Team titles on Saturday night, here they are back inside the squared circle looking to do what they do best, and that is fight. And Kevin Owens may have been running on E 48 hours ago, but he is refueled and he is ready to go as he nearly takes down Dom in the early moments. You know, KO and Sammy might have been going after the World Tag Team titles on Saturday. And Kevin Owens, the former WWE Champion himself. 2024 Royal Rumble match winner as well. There's a possibility that Kevin Owens is looking at a chance at AJ Styles. You got to keep that in the back of your mind. All the while, Dom going to the well early. A 619. Damn near, what are we, 90? Maybe two, two minutes into this matchup. 90 seconds. 120, numbers, numbers left and right. Dominic Mysterio, however, not putting down Kevin Owens just yet. Intercontinental champion. Felt a sense of urgency as Owens and Zayn were bringing the pressure and possibly felt forced to go to one of his best maneuvers. Now a tag made to the much fresher WWE champion, AJ Styles, and we use that term loosely that being much fresher, AJ Styles, although he was victorious, although CM Punk may have been a battered and bruised individual, was put through the ringer on Saturday night, Punk giving him hell. AJ Styles leaving the TD Garden in Boston, still the WWE Champion, making the flight to New Orleans, and is back here on Monday Night Raw, looking to be the face of the franchise. Gotta wonder who's gonna be next up for AJ Styles in terms of championship competition. Very well could be Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, or at least one of the two if they get the tag team victory here tonight. Certainly been a busy night of action here on Monday Night Raw. We have seen the debut of Jade Cargill, Tiffany Stratton, leaving us with tons of questions, walking away from her matchup with Charlotte Flair, only to re-enter the building just to ambush Bianca Belair. I don't want to say coming to aid, the woman she's supposed to challenge at Survivor Series, but certainly saw an opportunity and took it nonetheless. What about that massive six-woman tag team matchup that has been signed on for next week on Raw? Management on Raw and SmackDown working fast, clearly seeing that a mutual problem has developed. Next week, a massive interpromotional six-woman tag team contest. Raquel Rodriguez from SmackDown going to be here on the red brand for one night only. She teams up alongside the Queen Charlotte Flair as well as the EST Bianca Belair. That trio gonna take on the number one contender, Tiffany Stratton, the women's world champion from SmackDown and Roxanne Perez, and the WWE women's champion from Raw in Cora Jade. That's next week here on Raw.
Raw. Kevin Owens off the top. The Big Easy has come unglued. And if KO and Sammy are successful, there's going to be a party on Bourbon Street tonight. Last time we were in this building, as we've discussed several times throughout the night, was King of the Ring, the PLE, back in the month of June. On that night, Kevin Owens retained the WWE Championship in a grueling WrestleMania main event rematch against the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. KO and Sammy! Looking to see that kind of same success. Dominic Mysterio. What do we say about CM Punk getting put through the ringer? I think we could say the same about Dirty Dom. Could have happened to a nicer guy. Dirty Dom was knocked out by CM Punk with two GTS last week on Raw. Another GTS the week prior. Dom sticking it to Punk on Saturday. And now the Intercontinental Champion is feeling the repercussions. Maybe it's Sami Zayn who's feeling the repercussions. Nobody home off the frog splash. And now Zayn looking to pin the shoulders of the Intercontinental Champion. How sweet that would be. And a tag made of the WWE Champ. AJ Styles. Sami and AJ no strangers to each other as well. And the last time AJ Styles lost a singles matchup here on Raw was back in the month of May to Sami Zayn during his pursuit of the Intercontinental Championship. Ever since then, the Phenomenal One has been near perfect here on the Red Brand, has not seen any kind of singles defeat, and obviously has worked his way up to the top of the mountain to become the WWE Champion. Styles, I'm sure, has not forgotten about that loss to Sami Zayn, looking to rub some salt in the wounds of that loss at Bad Blood here tonight. Styles and Don trying to keep each other fresh here. Very interesting partnership has developed between AJ Styles and the Judgment Day as of late, and specifically in Dominic Mysterio. A lot of that having to do with the common enemies, you gotta believe. KO and Sammy is one thing, CM Punk another. All the while, Kevin Owens gets tagged in and gives Dom a boot right to the jawline. And right out of the ring goes Dom like a lifeless carcass. Kevin Owens. Nothing pretty about it, but certainly effective, and he's got a little something for AJ Styles as well. Kevin Owens drawing the line in the sand. Ain't gonna bring the fight to the outside. He wants Dom right between the ropes where he can get the job done tonight. KO was the one pinned by Damian Priest on Saturday. I'm sure he feels a little guilt from his tandem for that. We're gonna get back. In the winning column here tonight, going for the cannonball. Dom cut him off just before he could make the turn. Dominic Mysterio, you hate to give the devil his due, but it's improved a ton throughout 2024. It's a man who owns pinfall victories over Sami Zayn, over Jey Uso. Nearly defeated CM Punk last week with the help of AJ Styles. There's Kevin Owens heading to the outside now. Trying to get a little R&R. &R. Dom with a cheap shot on Sammy. Kevin Owens with one to Dom. Go for a pop-up powerbomb, it seems. Dom stopping him dead in his tracks. Go for a kick. Stutter! Kevin Owens looking for victory with the WWE Champion AJ Styles. What the, wait, what the hell? Wait a minute. Do I, do my eyes deceive me? I believe that is Seth freaking Rollins with one half of the World Tag Team Champions in Finn Balor, pedigree on the concrete floor. We have not seen Rollins since the role after SummerSlam when he was laid to waste by Damian Priest of the Judgment Day. Rollins is making his way towards the locker room now. Developing story backstage here at Smoothie King Center. Down goes AJ and down goes Dom with a halluva kick. Victory for KO and Sammy. We need some cameras backstage. Seth Rollins is on the scene for the first time in over two months. The hell is going on back there? Man, oh man, what a noteworthy night here at the Big Easy, to say the least. Here are your winners, the team of Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn.
Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn sticking it to the Judgment Day as well as the WWE Champion AJ Styles. And oh, wait a minute. It looks like Seth Rollins has caught the attention of the man who put him on the shelf, Damian Priest. The brawl has broken out in the middle of Smoothie King Center. We have not seen Rollins since the roll after SummerSlam, a man who knows all about making deals with the devils in the Judgment Day, only to be stabbed to the back specifically by that man. Rollins was not even the one pinned back in that eight-man tag team matchup against the Bloodline at SummerSlam, but the Judgment Day refused to take the blame. Priest put the blame on Seth Rollins. Rollins has not forgotten about the bloodshed in Detroit. Rollins is on the scene here in New Orleans, Louisiana. He pedigreed Finn Balor on the concrete floor in the backstage area. I don't know if Rollins found Priest or Priest found him first, but nonetheless, fists are a-flying, and everybody is helpless to stop these two men from tearing each other apart. You had to believe this was coming. Sooner or later, Rollins was going to be back, and Damian Priest was going to have hell to pay. Oh, wait a minute here. At the top of the stage, curb stomp to the punishment, Damian Priest. Seth Rollins is back on Monday Night Raw. And the visionary is head hunting the Judgment Day. What is going to be next here on Raw?